Please welcome Rondell Sheridan, everybody. Rondell. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Um, how many people in love? People in love? Yeah. yeah. How many people just using each other? A lot of you are going, if you didn't have a Visa card, I would not be with you right now. I read an article that said women love men with a sense of humor, but I don't think you thought it all the way through. A couple of years back, it was my birthday, and my girlfriend's in the bathroom for half an hour. I go, baby, what are you doing? She goes, I'm working on your birthday present. She comes out 20 minutes later, buck naked, all oiled up. I'm the comedian. I said, well, I hope you keep the receipt. <laughs> Needless to say, I did not open my present that night. <laughs> my girlfriend does this thing where I notice other women do it. She's always asking, what are you thinking? What are you thinking? Are you thinking? What are you thinking? What are you thinking? What are you thinking? What are you thinking? Are you thinking? After half an hour of this, I'm thinking, I want to kill you. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> I think everybody in your relationship is one, at one point has thought, if I could kill my mate and get away with it, I'd do it. <laughs> Some of you are laughing, the other half are very quiet. <laughs> but she's always asking, what are you thinking, what are you thinking? And guys, when they ask us, what are you thinking, what do we say? Nothing. <laughs> Women, you think we're complicated, we're not. There's nothing going on in here. <laughs> we're just a penis and a pair of eyes, that's all we are. <laughs> In the history of the world, no man has ever asked a woman, what are you thinking? Not a smart man. Because we know you will tell us. Honey Bunch, what are you thinking? Thinking you're a fat pig sitting around the house. Maybe you can wash a dish every now and then without me doing it. What do you think about that? What do you think about that? I'm thinking there's got to be a sale on duct tape and garbage bags somewhere. Always, though, when, uh, uh, no matter what I do, it's the wrong thing in my relationship. No matter what I do, always the wrong thing. I took my girl, for example, I took her to a nude beach right away. She's like, what are you thinking? What are you thinking? What are you thinking? <laughs> thinking I want to see some naked people. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> if you've never been to a nude beach, you, in your head, you think everyone looks like they're from Abercrombie and Finch. No, they look just like you. <laughs> They're as just as disappointed to see you as you are to see them. I took her to Zimbabwe. We went to Africa. We went on a zip line. We went on the second longest zip line in the world, almost two miles long. The first, first part of the zip line is, is a half a mile. So we're on the zip line, right? And I get to the top. You have to climb three trees to get to the top. I'm at the top, right? And the guy's standing there going, okay. I'm going to give you a banana and a gun. <laughs> like a banana and a gun? What is that, a box lunch in Africa? Why? <laughs> and before I can think about what's going on, in one hand he puts a banana, in the other hand he puts a gun, bam, he pushes me off. I'm flying down the zip lines. <laughs> All of a sudden, out of nowhere, I hear... <laughs> I get to the first platform, I'm like, excuse me, I heard some stuff down there, and that was not on the brochure. <laughs> I'm like, what's going on? He's like, do you still have your banana? I'm like, I squeezed most of that stuff out of there. I wasn't thinking you needed it back. I'm like, what's happening? He goes, okay, if the zip line breaks and you fall, Stay where you are. We will find you. But if you hear movement in the jungle, throw your banana at the movement. If it keeps coming, shoot yourself with the gun. 